When you want to know if oil and gas deposits are in a particular area, geophysical companies bring large trucks that have big vibrators on them. Most of the time, this is what generates the acoustic energy or vibration. They use geophones or very sensitive seismic microphones to hear the reflected sounds, but sometimes they set off small buried charges. They set many geophones on the ground in a line and they are attached to a recorder inside another truck. The vibrators send thousands of wavelets down into all the different layers of the earth. Some of the wavelets bounce off of the boundaries between the rocks below the surface and are reflected back to the geophones that are waiting to record them. Each geophone along the cable sends the received wavelets to the recording truck where they're recorded and stored. How do the wavelets reach into the subsurface of the ocean? That's offshore seismic and it just requires a different device to send out the wavelets and record those that are reflected back. Out at sea, a seismic crew works off a vessel with a specially designed back end so it's easier to lay floating cables or streamers. And all along the length of the streamers, microphones called hydrophones are attached one after another. Several of these hydrophone streamers are pulled behind the vessel at once. Acoustic sources are towed behind the vessel in front of the streamers and release compressed air which creates the wavelets. These wavelets travel through the water and into the subsurface below where, just like on land, they bounce off the rock layers and then return to the hydrophones to be recorded.